A bath? I don't want to take a bath. Uh, that was I, on my list. I Love I do it. not understand why people like baths. I'm bored. I'm wet. I'm naked. I'm <laughs> spiraling. I'm worried I'm going to drop my phone in the tub. You like put your phone there's in the so tub. much anxiety around taking a bath. Welcome to Bus Mob TV. In the spirit of living our life with intention, me and Greta Nance found some time in our day to pause, grab some coffee, and chat about what's going on inside Bus Mob. We'll answer some questions, spend some time with a special guest, and share ways to be more intentional in your daily life. Hop on in. Hello. What are you nervous about? <laughs> about you dinging my car door over there. I parked really close to Jenny over here. I'm not going to ding your car because it would ding my car. That's true. Thank you. Cheers. We're on the same page. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hi. I'm wearing a wig today. Not sure what's going You're on for winter, here. I'm I am. For summer. I know. Well, <laughs> it's cold in the morning right now yeah. and warm in the afternoon. And I'm in denial. So winter is not coming ever. Winter is coming. Yeah, and look, I'm iced coffee because now I'm sweating and you're hot coffee. We are yin and yang. We are. So what's going on in Boss Mob? What are we talking about today? Well, I've been seeing a lot of things about rapid recovery. And Ooh, what is rapid recovery? Good question. Rapid recovery, it can... Wait a minute. Oh, you took my spot. I'm sorry. We've got a lot going on in, the, <laughs> in this car of intention. Yes, we do. So for rapid recovery, it can be different for any practice. So it's kind of hard to be mm. like, this is what rapid recovery is because it could be whatever your surgeon makes it to be. Yeah. And some places don't even offer rapid recovery, which is important to know too. So don't get in bus mob and start seeing people doing rapid recovery and think that you should too, mm -hmm. because based on what you've had done, you may not need to do rapid recovery. No. Like if you had a lift, you don't need to do it. No, it's basically exercises mm -hmm. that only came out eight, five, six, seven years ago. Say, like this did not ago. exist yeah. when I had mine done. Like it used to be, don't move. Yeah. Try not, let everything rest five to seven Just. days, stay like a mummy. Now it's like, yeah, go home and dance. That, that is not rapid recovery, but you do workouts to actually keep your muscles mm -hmm. active and not so sore afterwards so you feel better, right? I did a video of my rapid recovery last year. Um, like I raised my arms up for mm -hmm. 10 seconds and mm -hmm. I put them down. I had to do it so many times. And sometimes you lay on your stomach mm -hmm. to like release the tension of the that muscle. That sounds so crazy. It I does. Know. Tummy time. But a lot of people say it sounds awful, but they feel so much better. Yeah. But don't do it unless your surgeon tells you to yeah. do it. Yeah. 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 Casey in the trunk just said she's going to cut anything we say anyway. So we have some bus mob questions sure do. as always. I mean... There are hundreds of questions yes. in the group, but we always pick a couple mm -hmm. that we want to highlight. So here's a good one. There's 0% chance it will play. Anyone else have surgery and not tell anyone? What kinds of reactions did you get when people saw you after surgery? I like that we got it right the first time. I told everyone. <laughs> like, I'm, But I actually know this story mm -hmm. or that we're going to feature. Mm -hmm. But I would be really curious, like... People had lots of different answers when mm -hmm. this was posed in the group. That's right. Most people tell people mm -hmm. because, man, it's a journey that you want to, just like Jenny mm -hmm. always talks about, having a baby or getting married. Like, yeah. you, you want you to talk share about and learn and mm -hmm. be like, did you have this? Mm -hmm. And But sometimes it can be better to people not don't want to tell, tell people. people. And I think that's what makes Bus Mob so great is that it gives yeah. you the opportunity. Strangers. Yeah, you can talk to them about anything you want mm -hmm. and not have to bump into them at the grocery store after you told them, yeah. you know? So yeah. we interviewed a girl, Rachel, who came to Amelia Aesthetics mm -hmm. to have a mommy makeover. And she didn't really want to tell anyone either, but she had mm -hmm. something really cool to say. So mm -hmm. let's watch that. I'm Rachel Nichols and I am here today to meet with Dr. Pyle to do muscle repair, um, tummy tuck, I'm sure that's a fancy word, but tummy tuck works for me, um, uh, lipo through flanks and whatever else he wants to take and then uh, a breast lift. I have worked hard <laughs> to get where I am. I, I um, and currently I'm 5'2", short, not tall, 5'2", um, 185 pounds, um, my highest was 207, and I did work down to that, but this middle section, it just doesn't go, and even like even when I was previously lower, it still was always there, to the point that everybody asks if I'm pregnant all the time. It's it's. I remember actually teaching years ago, and a little boy came up to me and said, Miss Feynman, are you pregnant? And I was like, absolutely not like I am 19 like it's just it's just something that's with me forever um 
and, and I get it all the time and it, and it frustrates me because I walk out and I think I'm looking good, I'm confident, like I'm okay with me. There's, there's, I'm happy, um, but that whole pregnancy part just kind of gets to me. So, um, you know, I'm, this is, this is something 100% for me. I'm here for my six week follow up and I'm feeling great. Um, the whole experience has been a lot easier than I expected. And um, being on this side just feels complete. For my recovery, my mom came down to stay with us for a week and that was huge help. My husband was wonderful, but my mom's the one that got in the shower with me, that did my changings, that was there to hold my hand and, and walk through it. The first few days were much easier than I thought, but much they were the worst, you know, and, and um, it really was more moments than it was days that were really bad. And everything just got, it just got better. And, and I think again, having that information before, it never was really bad. For anyone who is thinking about doing the procedures, but you're nervous, wondering what people are gonna think and say, um, I, think, I think it's natural to wonder. I didn't tell anyone. And no one's actually said anything except for just seeing me be more confident and happy. And so the focus is just more on the overall me or you than it is about the specific things that were done. And that's really been, for me, like the greatest part of this is I just feel like I have my body. Like before I just felt like I had something extra, someone else's extra. And then now I just, I feel more me and um, I don't care anymore about that. You know, that. That nervousness about what people are going to say doesn't matter because I finally feel more confident in, in literally my skin. It, that that part's been huge for me. I love how vulnerable she was and open and honest because, like, it's going to help so many women. And I love when people share their stories because it makes it feel so much more normal. Yeah, it's a friggin' privilege to get to do mm -hmm. what we get to do and see the just very few of you guys on your surgery day. Mm -hmm. It is the coolest. Love it. So, okay, I've got a skincare question okay. for you. I also love this one. This is like a vulnerability post too. Mm -hmm. So this was in the skincare group this week. Let's see if I can do this. Girl, I hear you. So many, like, so she was so vulnerable. Anyway, she was like vulnerability post and it was a little longer, but those were the highlights because I think a lot of people, she's young too. So mm. I'm really excited. She let us share her photos. She let us share now, but like she like posted in the group, what should I do? She was like, what about threads? What about Morpheus? Oh, what about, about all therapy? Like, and everybody weighed in on all of these things. And first of all, they were all like, you're gorgeous just the way you are. Mm -hmm. But here's my experience mm -hmm. with this. And so ultimately she decided on Morpheus 8, mm -hmm. but it was really cool how everybody got involved. She was like, here's my budget. Here are my expectations. So then she just reposted. And we'll put her before and after up here too. I need to show oh, it to you. Uh, yeah, I want to see it. She wrote, gosh, I feel vulnerable posting this, but holy moly. Mm -hmm. I had my first round of Morpheus 8 done at Amelia this Thursday. The left photo is the morning after. The right is this morning, just three and a half days after. My skin is certainly purging, which can happen. She had basically microneedling with radio frequency. Mm -hmm. So it kind of, it goes, gets in deep. deep. So she's kind of, breaking out a little bit. Um, but I can see a difference in my jawline, cheeks, and jowls already. What in the world? <laughs> the most noticeable results apparently don't even show up till four to six weeks with one treatment. I bought a package of three. I go back in December for round two, but I'm really happy this technology exists. And I hope that I will see much more improvement over the next few weeks with my next two treatments. That is so exciting. I know. After and it, one treatment. It wasn't even about like, I didn't want to highlight that to be about Morpheus because mm -hmm. some places have it, some don't, but yeah. it was like, Hey guys, what should I do? Everyone chimed in and helped with her experience. And then she followed up with, look, I feel great. Mm -hmm. Like she's so thrilled. You can see like her photos are really dramatic. Oh, um, there, like, and yeah. it is a great time of year to be doing these kind of mm -hmm. more invasive things. Um, so I did at least bring, you know, 
Bio cream I is what you should be using after any treatments you do this I season. Know, know, know. I but it's a total reminder. I love Morpheus 8 or I love microneedling in general. <laughs> skin pen, whatever somebody like wants to pen. call it. It's a great time of year mm -hmm. to do those treatments that just do a little lifting and tightening, but then you're gonna be rough and dry and you need to stay hydrated. So bio cream, which is available with a real simple way. skin. And there's lots of holiday-esque Black mm -hmm. Friday, Cyber Monday, cool giveaways, cool discounts coming up through the holiday season. So book your treatments while we're still wearing masks, mm -hmm. <laughs> while it's cold out, use your bio cream and have results like Alicia. I like that. I just want wine to be self-care, but it can't be. Do you listen to what Jenny is saying right now? Hmm? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> can't wine just be self-care? I mean, can't no. hot Cheetos be self-care? Sure. No. Like Self-indulgent. I, I think they can if you're intentional mm. about it, if you're aware. We're obviously dove right in and started complaining. <laughs> one Cheeto and it's going to be great. <laughs> our Shark Week, our in-depth, yeah. one-week deep dive mm -hmm. on a Wheel of Life topic this week on Brunch Club was self-care. Yes. So I think where we keep complaining and being frustrated is so many self-care things aren't what you really yeah. want to do that's usually unhealthy, like drink a whole bunch of wine or mindlessly watch television while yeah. eating an entire bag of chips. Like that sounds fabulous, but it's that not going to get you anywhere you want to go. You will not feel grounded and centered yeah. and happy and whole nope. if you do that repeatedly. You're going to be hungover. You're going to feel yucky and mm -hmm. your stomach's going to be tore up the next day. Yeah. Toe up. But yeah, there's a difference between self-indulging and mm -hmm. self-care. And there, I think we talked about that like a month or two ago mm -hmm. in Bus Mob TV. But we, like Greta said, Monday, Wednesday, and then this coming Friday, our shark week is self-care. And we've been trying to identify like, what does self-care look like for us? because it can be different for everyone. Yeah. And so I really honed in on the love languages. We talked mm -hmm. about that in our last episode and mine's physical touch and learning how can I give myself self care based on my personal love language. Mm -hmm. And it was really interesting. It's, and it was all very sensory for me. So mm -hmm. it was like taking a bath, putting on lotion, getting a pedicure, mm -hmm. which I was like, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, things be like that. Because physical touch is your love language, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And like putting on a fuzzy blanket, anything sensory and calming is self-care for me. And I yeah. thought that was so interesting. And it makes a whole lot of sense if you yeah. think about it. No, when I see other people's self-care things, sometimes that does not resonate with mm -hmm. me at all. And that makes perfect sense. Like knowing what, like a bath, I don't want to take a oh, bath. That was I, on my list. I, I do it. not understand why people like baths. I'm bored, I'm wet, I'm naked, I'm... <laughs> spiraling. I'm worried I'm going to drop my phone in the tub. You like put your phone there's in the tub. so much anxiety around taking a bath. You're not doing it right. No. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But this shark week has led me to identify like it was Glennon Doyle mm -hmm. who said, write a list of the unhealthy things you naturally choose that you instantly think of self-care. Why? Like, yeah, because if you do that all the time, you actually end up work yeah. like your liver. It's not <laughs> going to be caring to yourself right. at all if it's unhealthy, mm -hmm. toxic things. But that's where we gut natural re reflex us, goes to. Where Where's go the to. bottle? Where's the bottle? Enneagram sevens. I sound like a, <laughs> an absolute lush right now, but maybe I am. We're not alcohol. But it was like write a column as well of things that make you feel better, but are also self care. And then actually have that list somewhere, like maybe in a drawer near your wine bottle that I could make better <laughs> choices. to your wine bottle. Yeah. And I really like Truly, when I drink one glass of wine and then drink a glass of water and then read a good book, I feel mm -hmm. like I paid attention to myself. I didn't go crazy. And I feel like a better person the next day. <laughs> Not I just drank four glasses of wine, which led to the Cheetos, which <laughs> led to bad sleep, which led to the next day me being like, <laughs> I can't wait to go to bed. I feel terrible. Like, yeah. no, we don't. That's not self-care. Nope. So that really helped me to mm -hmm. identify that. And I keep challenging everyone. I'm going to make everyone do that. Like, ladies, you need to find mm -hmm. ways that you feel cared for mm -hmm. that are healthy. And we are also struggling <laughs> with doing the same thing. We're right there with you. We struggle. <laughs>
I am excited about this holiday <laughs> with you guys. There is lots of cool things coming. Mm-hmm. There's all kinds of cool giveaways and Black Friday specials mm-hmm. in not only the Bus Mob shop, but the skincare, mm-hmm. Real Simple Skin shop. We have big things coming towards the end of the year digitally that we've been working <laughs> super. We can do anything digitally yes, we can. Um, that we have been working really hard at. So it's going to be a good time. It is. And I want to end with this. Have you seen the turkeys with the lemons? in there for boobs oh yeah i would really like to see someone do that let's do that so you slide half lemon half cut lemons under the skin of a turkey (laughs) and then cook it and they look like it has super perky breasts we're gonna do that i'm not cooking a turkey well i'm not either so please someone (laughs) else do that (laughs) casey you do that casey are you cooking are you cooking a turkey this year i'm cooking a chicken oh squeeze some lemons in there yeah put some lemons in there that's true little limes (laughs) B cups. All right. Okay. Get out of the trunk. Let's get back to work because yeah. we have sh- to do. <laughs> I didn't know if I could say that. We have been cussing the whole time. Bye. Oh. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. To join Bus Mob, shop for swag, or follow me and Greta on social, click the links below. See you next time.